Understanding a slippery slope, navigating language nuance. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms with a focus on the phrase, a slippery slope. This expression is a fantastic example of how English uses imagery to convey complex ideas. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you master this phrase. A slippery slope is an idiom used to describe a situation where a seemingly minor action or decision leads to a chain of events that result in significant and often negative consequences. It implies that once the first step is taken, it becomes easier and seemingly inevitable to continue down a potentially dangerous or risky path. The imagery here is of someone starting to slide down a slope where it's impossible to stop or control the descent. The origin of this idiom lies in its vivid imagery. Imagine standing on a slippery hillside. Once you start sliding down, it's hard to stop. This metaphor has been used in various contexts, from everyday decisions to complex social and political discussions. Understanding the origin helps in comprehending the weight and implications of the phrase. To help you understand how to use a slippery slope in conversation, let's look at some examples. 1. Agreeing to bend the rules this once could be a slippery slope to more serious ethical violations. 2. Many argue that censorship in any form is a slippery slope to widespread media control. 3. Skipping a few classes seems harmless, but it can be a slippery slope to failing the course. In these examples, the phrase is used to highlight the potential progression from a small action to larger, more significant outcomes. While, a slippery slope, is the most common form, variations include, on a slippery slope, or, the slippery slope of, a specific issue. These variations retain the same meaning but offer flexibility in sentence structure. Understanding idioms like, a slippery slope, is key to mastering English, especially when navigating complex discussions. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of this intriguing phrase. Keep practicing, and you'll soon find yourself confidently using it in your conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next language adventure.